Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Silver Seater. So today we're going to look at my lower body strength workout. It's really important to keep those legs nice and strong so that you can continue to do your daily activities such as walking up and down the stairs, going to the shops or even getting out of a chair without using your hands. Okay, so all you're going to need for this video is one of these colourful resistance bands. They're super lightweight, you can take them absolutely anywhere and you can do about 100 different things with them. So I definitely recommend getting hold of one if you can. We're also going to focus on our quiz. We've also got a quiz on the royal family today. Uh, so that should be interesting. So make sure you get thinking about the royal family and the answers that you're going to give. So first of all, we're going to start off with a warm up and then we're going to do six different exercises for 30 seconds. And we're going to do that two times. Okay, so nice and gently, we're just going to start with marching on the spot. We want to get that body nice and warm, increase the breathing rate, increase the heart rate, and more importantly, prepare that body for the exercise that we're about to do. Opposite hand to opposite leg, just marching on the spot to start with. And let's bring those knees, bring those hands a bit higher. We can go within your limits, go to where you feel comfortable. And last five, four, three, two. And let's come out with the arms now. Now our punches. Let's warm up those shoulders. Getting those shoulders nice and mobile. Nice deep breaths. Okay, let's go a bit faster if we can. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, and relax there. Next exercise is gonna be called side taps. So we're stepping out to the side and we're bringing that hand up at the same time. So this is also a good exercise for the coordination and we're warming up those muscles on the side of the legs as well. Going back into the middle. You might not get this one first time. It's just practice, but you will get there eventually. Okay, let's see if we can speed it up. Last seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax there. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're coming forwards with the heel and we're gonna come up with one hand and down again and back in. Okay, so this is a really good one for the coordination and we're also warming up those legs and the shoulders at the same time. Again, if you're feeling confident, go a little bit quicker. Really want to get that timing of bringing that heel forwards and bringing that fist up to the sky. And five, four, three, oh, two, then watch what I'm doing, and one. And relax it, shake up those arms, back into your marching now. Okay, last exercise that we're going to do is called opening the window. So we're gonna bring those arms up nice and straight, we're gonna open one side, and we're gonna come back to the middle, open the other side. This is a really good one for opening up the chest. Try not to knock any of your pictures off the wall. And three, two, one and relax there okay now that we're nice and warm we're just going to do a bit quicker for 10 seconds 
three sets of 10 seconds, just marching on the spot. I like to call this one running for the bus. So we're gonna go a bit quicker, bringing those knees up nice and high. Within your comfort zone, bring those hands nice and high. Okay, let's get ready. And let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax, shake everything out. Controlling that breathing. Let's rub the lactic acid out of those legs, out of the muscles in the legs. And again, gently into your marching. Okay, let's get ready. Let's get opposite arm to opposite leg if you can. Let's get set. Bus is coming and let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and relax there. Again, shaking out those arms, shaking out those legs, and nice and gently doing this slow marching this time. You just want to keep that blood flowing in the legs. Keep those legs nice and warm. Get them ready for the exercise ahead. And last one now, last 10 seconds. Let's get ready, set, and let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax there. Perfect, well done everyone. So we're nice and warm now, the body's nice and warm and we're ready to start exercising. So we're just gonna start off with two questions. What is Queen Elizabeth's nickname? And who was the Queen's sister? Ah, uh, very easy today. So what is Queen Elizabeth's nickname? And who was the Queen's sister? So make sure you've got your clipboards, your pens and your paper, get your answers down and we'll go through the answers at the end. Okay, fantastic. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is called the leg press. So you're taking your band, putting it around the ball of your foot. We're gonna bring those fists in towards the body. Wanna make sure that the ball of the foot is always facing forwards. And let's go for 30 seconds. Really focusing on those muscles on top of the leg and the bottom of the leg. Again, this exercise is really good for doing movements such as getting out of a chair without using your hands or maybe walking up and down the stairs. It's a really useful exercise that you can do. And let's swap legs, making sure that band's nice and thick so it's not going to travel up the foot and off the shoe. And we're off. Just remember you only need a resistance band to do this exercise. And it's got loads and loads of benefits. So really try and get hold of one and do this one daily. It really will make a difference to the strength in your legs. And relax there. Okay, so the next exercise that we're gonna do is called our hip circles, or knee circles if you like. We're gonna do 15 seconds on each knee, and then we're gonna swap round. And let's get ready, and let's go. If you want to make this exercise a bit more difficult, take your hand and you can put it on top of the knee. Providing some resistance, pushing that knee towards the floor. And let's swap legs. 
this is a really good exercise for the mobility in the knee. You'll also feel it up here in the hip. Get those hips nice and strong. And let's swap legs again. Oh, pardon me. Almost there. You might start to feel a nice burning sensation in the leg. And relax. Last one. Let's swap legs. Last one. Almost there. Keep going. Last few seconds. And relax. Fantastic. That time, knee circles. The next exercise is called hip abduction. So we're gonna take our band, bring our legs together, take our band underneath the legs, make sure it's nice and thick so that it doesn't dig into the skin too much. Pull that band over the top of the legs, bring our hands down the side of the thighs so that you've got your tension in the band. Now what we're gonna do is a small step out either side, bringing those knees out to the side, and nice and gently, we're just going to pulse for 30 seconds. Now this is a really good exercise for improving the strength in the muscles on the side of your legs. And it's really important to keep these muscles nice and strong if you're to move your legs out towards the side. Almost there, last few seconds now. And let's relax there. I want you to keep the band where it is, but we're just gonna let go of the band, give those legs a bit of a rest. I'm gonna go through two more questions now. So Queen Elizabeth loves dogs. What is her favorite breed? Oh, again, I think that's a bit of an easy one. Being extra nice today. How many children does Queen Elizabeth have? I think most people will probably get that one as well. So Queen Elizabeth loves dogs. What is her favourite dog breed? And how many children does Queen Elizabeth have? Okay, great. Let's get back to the exercise now. So this time, the next exercise is called seated marching. We're going to use the band for this one for a bit of resistance and make it slightly more difficult. So keeping the band in position, again, making sure it's nice and thick. We're going to bring those feet apart and we're going to go into our marching. If you need to make this one more difficult, you can reduce the length of the band or use a band with more resistance. And we're off. With this exercise with the band, try and make sure that you're wearing some longer shorts or maybe some trousers. You've got short shorts and hairy legs. It's not always the best option like myself. You might feel a bit of pulling on your leg hair. Um, so just make sure that you do protect your legs. Almost there. And let's relax. Great work. So after we've done that, the next exercise we're gonna do is called the calf press. So similar to the leg press, we're taking that band, putting it around the ball of the foot making sure it's nice and thick, it's not going to move up the shoe and off the foot. This time we're going to keep the leg nice and straight and we're going to press the ball of the foot forwards. And let's go for 30 seconds. Really working on that muscle underneath the leg. So this is a really nice exercise if you want to push off the ball of your foot. So for example, walking up the stairs, pushing off the ball of that foot to take you up to the next level, the next stair. This is a really good exercise. Almost there, last few seconds, starting to shake. And let's swap legs. Straightening that leg. This is also a nice exercise for the posture. So you're keeping your hands nice and still but you're also engaging the muscles in the back to keep your hands nice and still. So 
So that's opening up your chest and it's a really nice one for the posture. With all of these exercises, making sure that you've always got some tension in the band. You've got tension in the band, you've got tension in the muscles, and that's where we're going to see the improvement in the strength. And relax there. Okay, so the last exercise we're going to do before we repeat these exercises is called our leg extension. So what you're going to do is we're going to bring one leg out nice and straight and we're just going to bring it off the floor and hold it there. Take a break if you need to and let's get ready and let's go for 30 seconds trying to hold it there if you can. If you need to take a break and bring that heel to the floor, you can bring that heel to the floor or starting to feel it. Quite a tough one this one. It's called leg extension hold. Almost there. Last 10 seconds now. Starting to shake. Keep going if you can. And relax, let's swap legs. If you'd like to make it a bit easier, come further back on your chair. And this time we're gonna straighten the other leg and bring that heel off the floor. And we're gonna hold it there. Thinking about that posture at the same time. Really engaging this muscle on the top of the leg. Again, really useful if you're to do tasks like getting out of a chair without using your hands. Almost there, last few seconds. And relax. Great work. Take a break, grab a drink if you need to. We're going to go through two more questions. So make sure you've got your pens and paper ready. Okay, so the previous question was, how many children does Queen Elizabeth have? We've now got, can you name her four children? Slightly more difficult. And the wedding of which royal was the first to be televised on TV and around 20 million viewers tuned in to watch. So I'll just repeat that. The wedding of which royal was the first to be televised on TV and around 20 million viewers tuned in to watch. Now we're getting more like it. That's a bit more difficult. Interesting to see what people come up with there. Okay, so enough of the break. Let's get back into it. So taking your band, you're gonna make sure it's nice and thick. Starting off with a leg press, taking that band, putting it around the ball of the foot, squeezing those fists in toward the body, keeping those hands nice and still and pressing forwards, keeping the ball of that foot facing forwards and bringing that knee backwards and forwards. If you can, try and make sure the ball of that foot doesn't face the floor like this. We want to come backwards and forwards at the knee. Almost there, last few seconds. It might be a bit more difficult the second time round. Just do what you can and take a break whenever you need to. And let's swap legs. Swapping legs. Pressing the ball of that foot. Straightening that knee if you can. Keep a slight bend in your knee, but keep it as straight as possible with a slight bend if that makes sense. Doing well, really focusing on those muscles on the top and the bottom of the leg. Almost there. Last few seconds. And relax. Now we're going to go into our knee circles. Again, we're going to do 15 seconds on each knee and then we're going to swap around. We're going to do that for a minute and let's go. If you want to make that exercise slightly more difficult, taking one hand and pressing that knee to the floor. Oh, pardon me. And let's swap knees. Again, really nice exercise for the mobility in the hips.
almost there. Take a break anytime you'd like to. Let's swap round again. Keep going, everyone. You're doing really, really well. It's not easy. It's not an easy one, this one. And uh, let's swap round again. Last one on the knee circles. Really starting to feel it in the hips now. And relax. Fantastic. So the next exercise we're going to do is called hip abduction. So again, we've done this one already. Bringing those feet together, making sure your band's nice and thick, wrapping that band underneath the legs and over the top. Bring that band down towards each side, squeezing those shoulder blades the other chest out. One small step up either side. And let's go for 30 seconds. Again, this is a really good exercise for improving the strength in the muscles on the side of the leg. If you fall off balance, you can quickly move that foot into position and regain your balance. The muscle isn't quite as strong, it will take longer to move that foot into position and you could lose your balance and fall over, which is exactly what we don't want. And relax there. Okay, I'm being very generous today. Uh, we're going to do two more questions and have a mini break in between. Right, let's go for the next two. So, how old was Prince Elizabeth? when she became the Queen of England. Slightly more difficult. How old was Princess Elizabeth when she became the Queen of England? In which country was the Queen's husband, Prince Philip, born? Just gonna repeat that. In which country was the Queen's husband, Prince Philip, born? Interesting, interesting. Okay, we're gonna have the answers at the end. Two more questions to go. Let's keep this band where it is. Now we're gonna bring our feet together, keep the tension in that band, hands nice and still, taking our two steps out either side, and we're gonna go into our marching. 30 seconds, we've got three more exercises to go, and then we're done for the day. Really, really good one, this one. Really important to keep the strength in the legs. Thinking about that breathing. Almost there. Again, if you'd like to make this one a bit more difficult, increase tension in the band, make it smaller. And relax. Okay, so the next exercise is the calf press. Taking the band similar to the leg press, taking the band, putting it around the ball of the foot, straightening that leg, bringing the hands in towards the body, keeping them nice and still, and pressing the ball of that foot forwards. And let's go for our 30 seconds. Again, like I mentioned earlier, this is a really good one for improving the strength of the calf and, and doing activities such as walking up the stairs, pushing off the ball of that foot, Taking it on to the next step. Starting to shake a tiny bit. Almost there, last few seconds. And let's swap legs. Trying to keep that band nice and thick so it doesn't roll up the shoe. Straighten that leg and we're gonna press forwards. Keeping those fists in towards the body. Almost there. Really squeezing that calf muscle, pressing those ball up foot as far forwards as you can. Last few seconds. And relax there. 
Great work. So the last one is called the leg extension. We're going to straighten that leg of the heel on the floor and then we're going to bring that heel off the floor. We're going to hold it there. Again, take a break if you need to for this one. It's quite a difficult one. And let's go. Holding that, holding that pose there. So bring that heel off the floor as high as you can. Really trying to straighten that leg. Great exercise for improving the strength of the muscle on top of the thigh. Thinking about that posture. Almost there and relax, let's swap legs. If you need to make this exercise more difficult, come further forwards on your chair and if you'd like to make it easier, come back on your chair. Really engaging this muscle on top of the leg. Almost there, last few seconds and then we're done for the day. Make sure you've got all your answers down. And last five, four, three, two, and relax there. Well done everyone, really, really good. So that's all of our strength exercises done. We're now gonna do some light stretches in the legs. It's really, really important to stretch off those legs after we've done any form of physical activity. I'm gonna go through the last two questions now, so number nine and 10. Which royal told the media, I do not aspire to be the Queen of England, but to be the Queen of Hearts? Interesting. Maybe slightly controversial. Which royal told the media, I do not aspire to be the Queen of England, but to be the Queen of Hearts? That's number nine. Let's go to number ten. Who did Prince Andrew marry? Who did Prince Andrew marry? Great. So that's all the 10 questions. Get your answers down on your paper and we'll go through those after the stretching. So we're going to do two main stretches. First of all, we're going to look at the muscles underneath the legs in the hamstring stretch. Let's straighten one leg, pull those toes towards you and nice and gently just leaning forwards, bringing that chest towards the knee if you can. Just going to hold it there for 15 seconds. Almost there. And let's relax. And swapping legs, pulling those toes towards you. Nice and gently bringing that chest towards the knee. And we're going to hold it there. And relax. So the last stretch that we're going to do is called the glute stretch. If you've had a hip replacement or a knee replacement recently, um, or, or at all, in fact, please contact your healthcare professional or a GP before taking part in this stretch. Obviously, if you're feeling any pain whilst doing it, please stop as well. So what we're going to do here is straighten one leg, take the other leg, put it over the knee, take your hand on the lower part of the shin, take your other hand, put it on top of the knee, and we're going to push that knee to the floor. If you like more of a stretch, bring that heel in towards your body and let's hold it there. Quite a big muscle group, quite a nice stretch to do. And nice and gently swapping legs now, so straightening that other leg, bring that foot over the knee, bring that heel in towards the body and pushing that knee towards the floor. Holding it there. Really, really important to stretch these muscles after you've done your exercise. And relax. Great, now for the important part, let's go through the answers to the questions. So number one, what is Queen Elizabeth's nickname? Lilibet, the answer is Lilibet. So what is Queen Elizabeth's nickname, Lilibet? Who was the Queen's sister? Does Princess Margaret? Bit of an easy one. 
Queen Elizabeth loves dogs. What is her favourite dog breed? Corgis. The answer is corgis. How many children does Queen Elizabeth have? Four, four children. Can you name her four children? So it's Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward. Let's just say one mark for all four of those. Um, because that's again a reasonably easy one. The wedding of which royal was the first to be televised on TV and around 20 million viewers tuned in to watch? That's Princess Margaret and Anthony Armstrong Jones. How old was Princess Elizabeth when she became the Queen of England? I still think this is probably a bit too young, but 25. 25, really young. In which country was the Queen's husband, Prince Philip, born? Corfu in Greece. Which royal told the media, I do not aspire to be the Queen of England, but to be the Queen of Hearts? And that was Princess Diana. Last one. Who did Prince Andrew marry? Again, maybe slightly an easy one. Who did Prince Andrew marry? And that's Sarah Ferguson. Find out your scores out of 10. Put your answers in the comments. Interested to see what you come up with. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.